Next on Access Basel, you're going to meet Miami artist Stephen Gagnon and his Ford Model T. December 26, 1935. It's hard for me to describe Miami for my first impressions. I'm in a daze as though I was dreaming. Miami's a large playground. All you see are a lot of people in bathing suits and shorts. The green grass, the palm trees, and the houses are all built on the Spanish villa plans. Hi, I'm Stephen Gagnon. I'm an artist in Miami Beach, and I'm presenting my artwork, Time Machine, at Fountain, Miami. The project is a project about my grandfather's experience in Miami Beach. In 1936, he came to work in Miami Beach as an auto mechanic, right before he got married to my grandmother. As it was very expensive to make long-distance phone calls to Massachusetts from Miami Beach, they had to write what this project is, is excerpts from his letters to my grandmother during this period when he lived in Miami Beach, right before he got married to her. There's just a lot of parallels between my life and my grandfather's life. He came here when he was 26 years old in 1936 for his profession as an auto mechanic. And I came here in 1996 for my profession as an artist. What's interesting is that what he wrote about in his letters related so much to my own experiences in living in Miami Beach. I just found it fascinating. I guess it was a very personal thing to know that he describes walking down Washington Avenue up Lincoln Road and done those same things. And I wanted to see and know the world that he saw. I know my grandparents at the end of their lives and more like the end of a story. And this is like the beginning of the story. In the letters, everything was written in the in present tense, obviously, and they're talking about how their life will be. It's so fascinating because it gave me the opportunity to meet both of my grandparents when they were 26 years old, and more of contemporaries as, as my elders. What I've chose to do is I chose to do the presentation in a 1930 Ford, and the reason being is that as he was an auto mechanic, I wanted to uh, make reference to that as well as to the time period in which he lived. And so I chose a car from the period as well, a car because that's what brought him to Miami. A lot of research into the local archives. One of the primary archives I visited was the Romer Collection at the uh, Miami-Dade Public Library. The Historical Museum of Southern Florida provided also further images for the project. This Basel is brought to you by Boat Living Magazine. Access Basel is brought to you by Sagamore, the art hotel. I'm Jefferson Stevens. By day, I'm a commercial aerial photographer, but in between that, I get to explore the things that I love, which is showing people things that they normally wouldn't see or appreciate. This series called Collision basically takes aerial imagery of either recycling uh, facilities or, or this one over here, which is actually a, a landfill. The whole premise is to create an image that pulls people in. And when I use symmetry on these images, it creates things that identify to each one of us. That there is an effort in recycling. A reason for us to, to pay attention to how much we consume, uh, because you can see how much we actually do take and produce. We can look at something that we normally don't think is beautiful and actually see beauty in it. We can look at something that we think is beautiful, but in actuality it's going to die. That's what the whole series is about. These are all refrigerators, washers and dryers, more shopping carts, bicycles, a lot of plastic bags. That's it for A3's Access Basel, the insider's guide, brought to you by Oat Living Magazine. Thanks for joining us. For more information, log on to watcha3.com, and we'll see you next time on A3.